there are uh, treatments of it that are uh, non-surgical and surgical. The non-surgical treatment is occasionally used initially, uh, which consists of using wrist splints, uh, particularly at night, uh, to prevent assuming an unusual position of the wrist that might trigger the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome at night. The other uh, treatment, which is primarily the standby, is surgical treatment. And that consists of making a small incision in the hand, uh, approximately three quarters of an inch long in the palm of the hand, uh, going down to the ligament and cutting the ligament, thereby taking the pressure off the nerve. And that ligament does go well into the palm of the hand and well back into the uh, forearm. But the incision itself is only about three quarters of an inch long. The operation is done uh, usually under general anesthetic, but may be done under local anesthetic as well with a small amount of infiltration of xylocaine into the hand itself. Occasionally, uh, people will use a medication called Neurontin or Gabapentin to decrease the uh, numbness in the fingers. Uh, that may be effective in the very early and minor uh, types of carpal tunnel syndrome, but as it progresses, uh, it becomes much less effective. Uh, it's very interesting that if people have symptoms that are intermittent uh, have in carpal tunnel syndrome, that is the symptoms come and go, then the treatment following surgery is immediate and the numbness in the hand and the soreness in the wrist is relieved immediately. However, if the numbness has progressed to the point of being present continually, uh, that is 24-7, uh, then it may take several months for the normal symptoms or the normal sensation to recur in the hand. Uh, it may take up to six to eight months for the numbness to re be relieved in that situation.